We've got um, some exceptional shareholders. So we've got Eric Sprott at close to 20%. Uh, we've got a, a, a mining company in Hecla that owns over 10%. So we've got 85% of our uh, company held in just a few investors' hands. Uh, we've got 23 million in the bank. Um, Dolly Varden is a vehicle um, to capture leverage to rising silver prices. Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcadia Economics. And today we have a quick profile video of Dolly Varden Silver. I know many of you have seen Sean Kunkun, who's been on the show several times, runs Dolly Varden, and just wanted to create a quick video here so that anyone who's wondering more about the company can get the basics and also how to follow up and get some more information. So Sean, with that said, for people who are not familiar yet with Dolly, or even if they're familiar with the old Dolly, can you summarize the profile of what you guys are doing and what investors should know? Okay, Chris, thank you very much. So Dolly Varden is a unique high-grade silver company located in Canada. Uh, we've got the past producing high-grade Dolly Varden silver mine and a very prospective land position. We've got um, some exceptional shareholders so we've got Eric Sprott at close to 20%. Uh, we've got a, a, a mining company in Hecla that owns over 10%. So we've got 85% of our uh, company held in just a few investors' hands. Uh, we've got 23 million in the bank. Um, Dolly Varden is a vehicle um, to capture leverage to rising silver prices. We're organically growing our silver inventories through exploration. And uh, we're looking to do some very dynamic M&A um, deals to continue moving the company forward. All right. And Sean, for people who are wondering, uh, obviously you have a couple pieces in your profile there, but with one end of the spectrum being out exploring and then the other spectrum being, hey, we're going into production. Can you put in context so folks know exactly where you're at right now? So where we're at right now is we've got a 44 million ounce high grade silver resource. And, you know, we're looking at, we're working with engineers and we're looking at if that on its own is enough to go into production. And if it, if it is, we'll make those next steps. If, if it's not, how many more ounces do we need at this exceptional grade to, and, and that'll target our exploration efforts moving forward. All right, makes sense. So Sean, can you tell us about the share structure of Dolly? Absolutely, Chris. Um, we have 129 million shares issued and outstanding. Um, on a fully diluted basis, we've got 144 million shares. Um, you know, I think the one thing to take away here is 85% of the company is held in just a few hands, few large hands. So we've got some large institutions that own some meaty blocks of, of nine, nine, some well-known precious metals institutions like us global and nine point. And then, um, you know, our largest shareholder is Mr. Eric Sprott at just under 19, nine. Um, we've got uh, Hecla mining, uh, which has been producing precious metals for the last 129 years. They actually, Chris, they, they had a failed uh, takeover attempt of the company, back in, uh, in 2016. So Heckler's, Heckler's a three and a half billion dollar company and they had a hostile takeover bid of Dolly Varden. They're still a shareholder. Um, they're part of our uh, technical advisory committee and they have uh, one of their representatives on our board. Okay, and uh, can you talk a little bit more about what their view is now on the project and anything you can share there about Hecla? You know, what's really interesting is, so we've got a property that's sandwiched in between Hecla and a company called Fury Gold Mines. And so Fury has uh, 20 million ounces of silver and a million ounces of gold right next door to Dolly Varden, sort of the other half of Dolly Varden. Then we've got our 44 million ounces. And then hecla has got this piece of ground that's about seven times the size of our land position. And um, they've got uh, some endowment. They've hit some silver on their ground. So they're committed to the area. Um, I believe that, you know, this is my opinion, but I believe they think this area could be analogous to a very um, profitable mine in their portfolio uh, 
up in Alaska called Greens Creek, just uh, just outside of Juneau. So I think they that when they look at this area, um, they see some of those same similarities. Uh, Greens Creek was an operation that had a very low uh, operating cost and uh, was profitable at even much lower silver prices. And that's because of the grade. Okay, and by the way, this is the corporate presentation which people can find on the investor section right under corporate presentations there. So thank you for having that up there, Sean. It's also a quick click on the homepage. When you go to the website, if you scroll down, there's the presentation that you can just click on right on the homepage. All right, so also here on the homepage. And Sean, uh, before wrapping up, obviously the, the Dolly Varden name has been around for a while. You came in just about a year ago this time. And I've heard from many investors, they think of Dolly Varden, what they've known. Now, fortunately, I, I've gotten to talk with you and I know that you've done things a little bit differently. Can you talk about that for a minute? Yeah, sure. I think, um, you know, there's this perception um, about Dolly Varden, much like there's a perception of a mine just north of us called SK Creek. And if you look at Skeena Resources, Skeena was a $30 million company. Now they're a $650 million company. And one of our other neighbors, GT Gold, Newmont just bought for half a billion dollars in cash. So as the, the narrative in the area here, Chris, is it's the reawakening of the golden triangle. So we're taking these past treasures that were profitable at a dollar silver back in the 1950s, and um, we're applying 2021 science and we're working with the best technical minds in the business and we're growing high grade resources. And so it's this re re reawakening and uh, this rediscovery and, um, and looking at all the work and all the modern exploration we could do. And, you know, so when I came into Dolly, much like Skeena was a $35 million company, Dolly was a $20 million company we're part one through the reawakening. We're now at a hundred million dollar valuation, but we've got a long way to go. Well, Sean, I appreciate that. And perhaps just as we wrap up, can you give the website and the best email address one more time for people to track down with any questions? Absolutely. You can visit us at dollyvardensilver.com. Um, and you can email me at sk at dollyvardensilver.com. Well, Sean, I appreciate that. It's really been a pleasure getting to know you, learning more about the company, excited to see how it goes going forward, and we'll look forward to following your success. Thanks so much, Chris. Thank you.